Hi, let us look at some new AC900 questions. Please go through this video. I will be posting some more parts to this video series. 100% pass is guaranteed. You may visit a playlist which is already uploaded on my channel which is linked to AC900. This part that is part 1 of this new question series. The previous video series is still relevant. Go through that content plus visit these new contents. Please subscribe to my channel. This channel is totally dedicated to help clear cloud certifications at different levels. This channel is totally focused on primarily AWS cloud, Azure cloud and Salesforce products like Tableau and Tableau CRM. Let's jump in and understand the questions and the explanations for each and every option. So the first question is this one. This is the line which is interesting. So what it says is it gives a statement and we have to tell whether this will work. If not, what among these three options will work so basically it says 24 by 7 access uh, standard is the cheapest plan which gives you 24 by 7 access to support engineers if you see this chart you see this stuff here this is your 24 by 7 help resources and this is your 24 by 7 access to technical support that is what you need for this question and the question says that standard is the cheapest option so if you see here uh, if i scroll a bit up i see basic basic doesn't have this the next one is developer and then we have standard okay so the developer says available only during business hours so it doesn't provide 24 by 7 only these two will provide 24 by 7 so the cheapest one is standard because it is seven thousand dollars professional direct is seventy four thousand dollars so this is cheaper so we would stick with this answer because this is correct no change is needed let's go to question number two so this is an interesting one it says all azure services that are in public review are and you have to choose one option if it is in public review uh, so the service is provided without any documentation no this is wrong all public review features comes with documentation imagine you are launching a app in a beta trial version and you do not share any documents so how will people understand it so hence we have established this is wrong second one says only configurable from cli so you can configure through cli that is one option and portal can be another one hence this is wrong let's look at the third one excluded from slas now let's uh, think for a moment there is a new service being launched hyperloop for example it is, it is running from los angeles to new york and somehow it's so fast that you cover this distance in three hours like faster than the flight now if you have to launch an app to provide this service of hyperloop so that people can book their tickets you would do a beta version right would you do this beta version with SLA service level agreement so that people get scared and they do not uh, download this app first or would you take the SLA on yourself like if you are doing a beta version and if the system goes offline I would pay pay a penalty of $50 per transaction any company won't do that because that won't be profitable your system is not quite stable and you do not want to take that risk that is why we would exclude the public preview, preview from the service level agreements. This is the right answer. Let's see the last one, only configurable from Azure portal. So when I explain the second one, only configurable from CLI, 
I told you public preview is configurable from CLI as well as portal. So this is also wrong. So here goes our right answer. Let's dig into question number three. So what is guaranteed in an Azure SLA for virtual machines? So I'll show you a part of the Azure documentation. You see the commitments are only for the uptime and connectivity. Hence the right answer is uptime. Let us go through the three options and decode the logic why these are wrong. So let's check feature availability. So in one of my videos, I was talking about the different storage classes of S3. Suppose these are features. Uh, one fine day, you, you see this is a new feature, flexible retrieval. One fine day, it may happen, they may take out one zone IA. There is no commitment that Microsoft or Azure will keep this for the next 10 years or 20 years. Hence, B is wrong. C talks about bandwidth. Who are the service providers? For the network you see this rnet atl in india atl ais in bangkok and so on so if azure is dependent upon another company like atl to provide the network service how they can guarantee the bandwidth nobody would take that risk because if they give that as a commitment there will be severe penalties penalties after penalties so nobody would you know agree to that Hence, C is wrong. D talks about performance. Now, any cloud service cannot guarantee performance. Performance is totally a matter of your own design and architecture. It's your architecture, your design. You own the performance to a great, great extent. Again, uh, Azure will get bankrupt if they guarantee performance uh, or if they commit on performance. They will give you all levers to help you with performance, but it's your design, your arch architecture. So we will lock this answer and move forward. Now the so this question so an azure service is available to all azure customers when it is in which preview so the right answer is public but what's the logic behind it see public preview suppose azure they have these customers okay and azure launches a feature which they want all of its customers to try it out so they will put it as a public preview so that all of his customers can try it out and give the feedback if they like it then they can use it when it's live now what the hell is private preview imagine azure launches a feature with its taxi operators so out of these clients that azure has only lyft and uber are taxi operators so azure will roll out these features in a private preview mode to lift and over and they can try it out see the question says is we need it to be available for all azure customers and hence private preview is the wrong answer uh, development is also wrong suppose you are developing a feature you won't roll it out to your customers any customer whether it be private or a uh, few customers or public you won't do that so development is wrong now what is ea subscription think about it Customers who sign three years agreement with Azure are EA customers. They have EA subscriptions. You remember the public or the private preview we put Lyft and Uber. Suppose out of these two, Lyft has gone for a three year agreement. So the EA subscription would be available only for Lyft and it is not for all the customers. And hence, this will not suit the answer. So this is wrong. We have public preview as the final answer. Let's move to the next question. So question number five. So question number five, this is again a simple question where it says that uh, company support policy states the Azure environment must provide an option to access support engineers by phone or email. And the solution also is given, it recommends to use a basic support plan. So if you see the support section 24 by 7 access to technical support, it is not available in the basic one. It is available only during the business hours for uh, developer but for standard it is available as well as for professional direct so standard is something we should work here since the question talks about basic and basic usage it is not supported so we will mark our answer as no in this case 
please remember this channel is dedicated to help you clear the cloud certifications primarily on AWS and Microsoft Azure. Also, there are contents to clear Salesforce Tableau certification as well as Salesforce Tableau CRM. Please do not forget to refer to the AZ 900 Azure Foundation 900 playlist. It has a lot of videos and those are still relevant. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thank you and see you in the next part.